Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Super Mario 64 on the Super Mario 3D All-Stars Collection. Today, we're actually going to a new section of the castle and tackling what may be the most difficult level in the game. I am dreading it, I am most certainly dreading it, but I'm sure it'll be fun as well. Um, have I talked to you? I'm pretty sure I did. But let me make extra sure of that. Hey buddy. Thanks to the power of the stars, life is returning to the castle. Please Mario, you have to give Bowser the boot. Yeah, I do remember this. All right then, so. As you can see, I think, yeah, right up here, there's another staircase even higher to the highest point, or one of the highest points of the castle, at least leads to that. I think you only need 70 stars to get into this, but we have over 100, so we should be fine. And as you can see, oh, this place is super cool. There's a giant grandfather clock that's sort of in the shape of a tree. There's some toads hanging out we definitely want to talk to because I think one of them will give us a star. Hey, buddy. There's something strange about that clock. As you jump inside, watch the position of the big hand. Oh, look what I found. Here, Mario, catch. So he is gonna give us a star, which is awesome. But as he said, depending on when we jump into the clock, we'll determine different things about it. We'll keep that in mind. Wow, another power star. Mario gains more courage from the power of the castle. So just like other levels, like what Dry World, where the height in, of which we would jump into the world would affect, um, what time, or, or you know, what, how high the water was, we also have different effects here as well. So it looks like there is something here. I'm not gonna worry about that just yet. Just sort of looking around the area to sort of figure everything out. I don't think there's any other toads that'll give us stars, but I don't know until I try, right? So I'm just looking around a little bit, and I believe also up this way. Oh boy, this is where Princess Peach's room normally is, but it's where we're gonna be fighting Bowser later on for the final battle. But yeah, for right now, I think we're good just to hop up and get into the clock. So I believe for this first star, and for a good chunk of them, the easiest possible thing to do is to hop in when time has stopped. And to do that, I believe we need the minute hand on 12. So let's go in right when it's on 12, of course, you know. It starts at one and goes clockwise around until 12. Um, roll into the cage is our first star here for course 14, tick tock clock. And yes, everything is frozen. So I think the farther along you go, the faster it goes until you get to 12 and then it stops. Or maybe the opposite. Either way, roll into the cage. I think we're supposed to just keep going then um, until we find that star. I think there's a star in a cage somewhere. But obviously this level is much easier to traverse when there's no, no movement happening but there are certain parts of the clock we cannot access while it's not moving. So it's sort of a bit of a balance you need to make. Oh my, oh my, be careful. There we go. And the best way to figure it out most of the time is just to continually explore until you understand more, but like, I think, oh, I gotta be careful of that. Jump Mario, ooh, nice dodge. You can see there's like a big minute hand here. And there is a star over there. That's not the star we're trying to get right now, but we would need the clock to be moving to be able to access that. But in terms of platforming challenges, this level is where it's at. It's probably the most difficult. I know it has a sort of reputation for that, and I can see why. So how am I getting in there? Um, it looked like my best bet is to plop down here and then jump for it. And it looks like if I, I could probably cheese that one jump down there so I wouldn't have to stand on the hand of the clock, but if I can do it the legitimate way, I want to. But there we go, there's our first star in TikTok clock, roll into the cage, Glad that wasn't too bad of a problem. Um, so let's see what the next star is going to be. And I'm likely going to have to jump in again at 12. I think the minute hand, which is of course the longer hand, the, the, the smaller hand is the hour hand, um, is all that matters. The pit and the pendulums. So is there movement? There's no movement. Not too sure what I do with this one, but I'm just gonna keep climbing until I see something with pendulums, which, if you're curious, I think you know this big yellow thing right here, this is technically a pendulum. So maybe if we just keep climbing up, we'll get somewhere. I think the pit it's referring to is the fact that if you fall on this level, it's basically an endless pit, you just fall and die, and that's not so fun. Because it's weird, it's, oh my goodness, it's, it's a very large level vertically, but Horizontally, it's not really. It almost feels cramped in some ways. And very linear, too. It's not very open for exploration in that way. There's really only one or two ways you can go. But even then, you'd think that would somehow make it easier, but no, it makes it a whole lot more difficult. Did I just fall through that? That was weird. <laughs> um, I'm a little concerned about that. Let's try that again. I think I just made a mistake. 
Maybe there's a little gap between that platform and the wall. Oh boy. But it's crazy, we're getting so close to the end of the game between this level and I think that there's one more level after this and then we're done the game, basically. And that's just crazy that we've made our pro made so much progress. But at the same time, there's still much more progress to be made. Okay, we can backflip up that without issue. Now we gotta climb up this little rod. But yeah, it's just sort of like all the pieces to a clock. It's such an interesting, like, unique level in my opinion. I don't think there's anything up there for me. Oh no, no, I do not want to mess with you, sir. Oh, I'm just trying to get him off my trail. Oh, ooh, ooh, that was close. There we go. Oh, and here are some more pendulums, and there's a star. So I'm guessing this is what we want. I am curious about this. Uh, if I don't get all the blue coins right now, not the end of the world. I'm just trying to find out where they are. Looks like they would all be over there. That's a lot of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's 35 coins right there. Good to know. Oh, whoa, I didn't know there was a gap between there. I got very lucky then. Ooh, yeah, we made it. And there we go, star two. So, so far, not too bad. So I think for this next one, once again, I have in my notes how fast the clock is supposed to be, um, but I don't really have too much about what I'm supposed to do with the stars. Um, I don't know what makes a clock fast. I think the closer it is to 12, but not quite 12, the faster it'll go. So hopefully at nine, as we do star three, get a hand. It'll be moving quick. That looks pretty quick to me. Um, oh, you know what? This is probably the one where we stand on the, the, the hand of the one clock. So, oh, and these platforms, they sort of spin in place. Uh, and that's sort of the trick with this one. It becomes significantly more difficult to traverse, but we need to do this. Oh my. Okay, that wasn't too bad, actually. Now, if I could just get up there. Nice. Oh, I didn't even know that would push out. Okay, so here we are. This is where the, the clock hand was before. I'm hoping that little fireball thing doesn't notice me. And jump. So we're just hitching a ride on this thing. I, I'm sure we could move towards the center if we wanted to, but that doesn't seem like a good idea. I don't like the idea of moving on it while it's moving at all. But there we go, we got it! That really wasn't too bad. So we already got technically the first half, sort of kind of, of stars out of the way with get a hand now done. And I think for this next one, we need the time to be slow. So now that we know how this works. Oh no, okay. I think there's only four different stages, 12, three, six, and nine. So as long as I get it at like three, I think I'll be okay. Stomp on the thwomp. I don't remember there being a thwomp. So this'll be interesting. We're just gonna keep climbing until we find the thwomp. So luckily this'll be easier than last time, but not quite as easy as when everything was frozen. All right, go, go, go. But we should be able to, this is star four, right? So we should be able to, uh, get to 110 stars today, which remember, there's only 120 in the game, so. That's very exciting. Ooh, got it. And then over this way. Oh no, come on Mario, good job. So it moving slowly isn't that much more difficult than when it wasn't moving at all. But there are definitely some extra twists and turns you gotta be aware of. That was honestly easier. Climb, Mario, climb. Nice. I like how that one up just goes right over to you. Was able to do a good job at avoiding that guy, but I didn't even, that was so lucky. I'm just gonna say that much. So what do we do around here? Oh, you know what? Maybe I do have to. I see, there's clearly more up there. So while I did a good job jumping over here, I may have to jump back. Oh. So where I got that one up, I think is where I need to, oh, I see. Mm-hmm. No, ah, poor Mario. No! Okay, 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 I calm down. Okay, luckily he sort of stops for a second once he zaps you. Gives you some time to prepare. Oh no. But there is a very nice spot to just refill your health here, which I do appreciate. Okay, so there's more to climb that we have not seen. Oh, sort of did a little bit of a blind jump there. And once again, I'm just trying to figure out where in the world we're supposed to go. Oh my goodness. Because there's some stuff there. There's some stuff here. 
It just keeps going. Oh my goodness, I don't know if I've ever been this high up on TikTok clock. Sure doesn't feel like it. Um. I don't, oh no, okay, we didn't fall to our doom luckily, but we did fall quite far there, enough for us to lose some health. Luckily, we do know there is a little health refill right up here. Mario, what are you doing? Don't do that. Okay, that is so weird. Much better. And then I can get my health refill just like that. Oh, okay. I guess I gotta jump up to that. Well, I mean, oh no, oh no. Let's just try for it. That's not too bad. What are you doing? What are you doing? Mario, I can't even see what happened. Oh my goodness, why did we fall so far? There we go, oh, that took some work. Okay, so I don't know ooh, where we're going right now. These all pop out. It looks like you could sort of hide in between them though if you needed to, but luckily we don't need to. This level just keeps going. It goes higher and higher and higher. Whoa! This really puts the tower in clock tower. Oh no, oh I don't like this. I jumped Mario! If I press the jump button, I would really recommend that you jump. Oh, okay, luckily we didn't fall too far. We fell back to these boxes that give me so much, so much, so much trouble. Oh, there we go. Jump, backflip. We got it. That, ooh, okay, okay, all right, it's fine, we're good, we're good. This part is certainly challenging now because you're trying to land one way, the game is forcing you to land another. Where am I going now? Here. Oh, I can't see. The angling there was weird. Oh, now we got the same moving blocks, but they're not blocks, they're triangles. Oh, okay, we gotta hop on that. We gotta hop on that, grab some extra coins for fun. I am not looking forward to 100 coins on this. I'm just now realizing that's gonna be a nightmare. Oh. I don't quite ooh, know where we're going with this. I can only hope it's the correct way. Oh, oh, there he is, the big man himself, the thwomp. Am I just expected to hop off? Am I doing this correctly? I'm nervous, I am so nervous. Okay, the platform's coming into view now. I wasn't there before. I guess I'm going to have to hop on the thwomp without... Hmm. Whoa, whoa. Objects may be closer than they appear, including the star. <laughs> there we go, that one took some good effort, for sure. So glad we got that done now. Stomp on the Thwomp completed star four, which means we still have two more main stars to get and then we have the 100 coins. So what are we doing for this one? It looks like I need to go slow again, so let's do that. <clears throat> and this is time jumps on moving bars. Huh, time jumps on moving bars. I don't think it means it's a red coin one, because I think that one specifically mentions red coins in its name. Um, cause those are moving bars, but I guess like a different kind. I'm just trying to think. Hmm. I just gotta look around for, whoa, where there could be a star. And see which ways I can pursue. So if I'm up here. We gotta keep going, there's nothing around here. I'm thinking of where we would pick up the extra health on top of that one cage. We went up a little bit, but it looked like there might have been just like a different direction to go. So that's what I'm trying next. Because if not, I have not too much of a clue on what to do. But it will be worth it just to, you know, get up to some spots and look around, observe the area. Oh, in there. How exactly do I get into that thing? I'm not sure, but that's definitely not the red coin one. So it has to be what we're looking for. All right, here we go again with this jump. Ooh. Aha, yeah, we don't normally go over here and these definitely look like timed jumps with, with moving bars. 
out. So they sort of recede for a second before they pop back out as sort of like a, hey, I'm moving warning. Oh my. But once again, turning on a dime with Mario is not easy, but it was easy enough to get the star. That's great, which means we do have one more main coin to get. It's gonna be the red coins. Let's get to it. Now I'm supposed to do this with the time stopped. I think we'll do that, oh my. Ooh. There, I don't know, that might have been a little too late. We'll find out. It's doable without time being stopped, but top, stop time for red coins. And I only knew this one through process of elimination. Like, you know, we've done every other star. I knew it had to be this one. Because, oh, uh, this is much more difficult. <laughs> much more difficult. I might just want to give it another go. Like, just leave. If I do that, though, I will have to go back from the beginning of the castle. So I might as well give it, like, one try here. There's red coin, too. Ah! Okay, you know what? I don't think it's worth all that time investment. I'll be right back. We're just gonna fall back down and we'll get it to 12. So it needs to be right on the 12. All right, come on. <clears throat> there we go, now time stopped. There's our first two red coins. Honestly, they're so much easier, so much easier. Already halfway there. There's one. <laughs> I say that, but I still find a way to fall. It wouldn't be me if there wasn't a Y. You know? Okay. Whoa, whoa, I didn't even mean to wall jump there. This game can be really wacky at times. Okay, slow and steady, slow and steady. That is not slow and steady. I went the wrong way, I just didn't even register it. There we go. Jump up there, backflip again. <laughs> Mario, I just, I need to figure that out. Sometimes when Mario turns, he turns wide. He like literally walks forward and in a circle. But sometimes, like he'll just immediately turn around like that. And that difference doesn't seem very important, but it can literally be the difference between if you're walking straight off a cliff or not in this game. And now he's sort of trying to go against the wall there. Do a little shimmy move, which is, you know, great that he has that ability, but not really necessary at the moment. But even just a more simple star like this can be quite the strain. Oh, what? Why didn't he grab the ledge of that? That's typically, you know, within the boundaries of him grabbing a ledge. Mario's picky today. Either way, we're looking for like, what? One more red coin. Mario, stop doing that! There we have it, coin seven, and boom, coin eight. So of course that gets to 16 uh, coins in total. It's weird how this pops up the way it does way up there. I've never seen it do that before. Huh, usually it's just right above wherever it needs to be. But I guess, you know, it's tick-tock clock. If it's not unnecessarily difficult, is it really worth putting in the level? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was the design philosophy. Uh, oh no. So I gotta get all the way up there again. I just need to sort of make some more distance. Okay, here we go. That's enough. Awesome. <laughs> we'll just get the fall all the way down like that. Very fancy. So there's star six. Stop time for red coins, which means we have one more thing left to do, and it is guaranteed to be the biggest headache of it all, getting all 100 coins. But hey, in the meantime, look at us. We got 110 stars. Which remember, there is 120 in the game, so we are very, very close to completing everything. And there we go. So yeah, let's give this a try. Um, I think I'm going to choose that same star. I don't think it really matters for this one. But we just sort of have to diligently go through now. Those two bob sort of clash together. Wait, it's not frozen. Oh, come on. All right, I'll be right back. So let's try again. This time everything is at a standstill, which is exactly what we need. Oh no. Well, that coin just ran away super quick. Now, most of these actually have coins in them and quite a generous amount or the ones that don't fall off the side. Um, so definitely worth pursuing. And the red coins, you know, it's 16 coins worth of red coins. Definitely worth getting as well. So with any luck, we'll be a quarter of the way there before we even tackle the tough parts of the level. And we're mostly going to be, like I said before, looking out for those yellow blocks that have nice stashes of coins in them. Why did I do it so easily this time? I guess, you know, the first time you do it. 
is going to be the most difficult most of the time. Oh, here's another one. So, like, I, I hope this would give me coins, and it does. So we're up to 29 now. I don't believe we really missed too many coins now. If I, I feel like I'm struggling, I might go back down there. But actual little groups of coins aren't very common in this level whatsoever. It's a lot of platforming and not a lot of rewards for it, and that's where we just have to take on enemies and hit the blocks. It is definitely like a bizarre level in that way. Okay, Mario, I would have liked if you did the side jump there, but we'll just backflip. Okay. Just gotta keep going. There's a nice one up. I appreciate it. Oh no, we got this guy. He's back. He's back and he's meaner than ever. Oh, okay, but he's also a little on the slow side, so. He actually sort of lost track of me there. Okay, it's only three coins each for these boxes. Wow, that was close. But we're up to 40. Oh. Oh yeah, that's right. I totally forgot the blue coins over here make a huge difference. Ooh, gotta move fast. It's not gonna be all of them, but it's quite a lot. Up to 75 coins in total now. Oh no. Oh, okay, we're fine, we're fine. Actually, not too bad of a setback. Might actually get me right where I need to be. Because we're gonna go try the other way now and see if we can't get four coins. We just need 25 coins. We're three quarters of the way there. All right. Now my worry is that I can't really get up there. Oh no, I can. Not a problem, actually. Not a problem at all. But, oh, you know what? I really might not be able to get up there. Maybe doing this when it was frozen was not a good idea. But I'm certainly willing to try. Whoa, wait, yeah, we did it. Look at me. Platforming expert over here. Okay, don't be to be too overconfident, but. I'm just really happy I pulled that off. Uh, let's uh, do that. Now that I've done that, hopefully the rest of this won't be too bad. Okay. I really hope there's 25 coins to be had up here. Ooh, can I even squeeze by this? I can. I cannot jump though. Because I'm a little curious, I did see a block in there. Oh, there's a little ceiling. Okay, gotcha. Oh, that's a bunch of coins, getting us up to 85. There are 10 coins in that. Excellent. And luckily this part is significantly easier, so if we fall, I'll be really embarrassed. Okay. Even though these platforms are very close together, I don't want to walk over them in our skin. That's a one-up. Ah, oh, the one time it's a one-up is the one that's pretty far off the beaten path. How many coins do we get from this? We need to make sure we get every one of them. That gave us eight more, or three more coins, not eight. <laughs> I wish it gave us eight more coins. Be in a very good spot right now. So we just need 12 more coins in total. Can we get that from up here? Oh, this thing is gonna be firing at me, quite literally. Oh my, oh, ah. 96, no, wait, no, wait. <laughs> wait, oh, what's this? Oh, no, I need one more. I need one more coin. Oh boy. Come on, Mario, we can do this. I gotta get back up there, all the way back up there. Okay, it's not too far. I, I actually did not fall as far as I thought I did. And just get one more coin from that block. That's all we need. We can do that. Okay, I think we have triangles to climb up still. I can handle triangles, no problem. And ready for it, boom. Oh, no, wait, it's a one up. I've been fooled. Oh, there's another block down there. How do I get to that one? It looks like if I were to very carefully walk over to the center, I'd be able to, ooh, coins. Coins, yes! Oh my goodness, as close as it gets, right? There we go.
our 111th star. We've collected 100 coins. We can go and exit the castle, exit to the castle now. So there we go. That was actually easier for me than Tiny Huge Island. So I'd love to hear, do you think this is the toughest level of the game? Or maybe the next world we'll be tackling for you is the most difficult. That will be Rainbow Ride. Very excited to check that out, but we'll be doing that in the next episode of Super Mario 64 on the Super Mario 3D All-Stars Collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.